Today we show you how to make a magnetic tool hanger for your tools from magnets salvaged from a microwave oven. And that means I can even hang my drills on. This one weighs about eight and a half pounds. Just like that. Laptop computer. Water bottle, full water. Wow! The first thing we have to do is to remove the magnetron out of the microwave oven. That's the easy part. The hard part is to get the magnets out of the magnetron. Well, actually, it's not that hard, but you have to deal with the pink ceramic part on the magnetron that contains the toxic chemical, beryllium oxide. It causes beryliosis, which can cause permanent damage to your lung if you inhale it in powder form. So just be really careful and try to avoid touching it as much as possible. The magnetron has a metal case, so all you have to do is to use a flathead screwdriver and pry it out. Just like that. It will come out just like that. The first magnet is on the top. The second magnet is on the bottom and it's attached to the bottom metal enclosure so you we have to open it up and cut the wires. I just use a pair of pliers and screwdriver to pry it out. Cut the copper wires and you can pull the entire magnet assembly out to get the second magnet. And pull it out. It's tight. Here we go. So here are all of the eight magnets I salvaged from four magnetrons and they are different sizes. Uh, this one has the biggest diameter, these are the medium ones and these two have the smallest diameter. Just a little bit different, uh, not too much. But the more important thing is that they all have the same thickness and I plan to use my particle board here and embed the magnets into this piece of particle board which I salvaged from a bathroom cabinet. So what I'm going to do on this board is I'm going to drill out circles and embed these magnets inside it. I have traced out the circles from the magnets and I have these hole saw blades that match the size of these holes. So I'm going to use this to drill out the holes. Let me show you my drilling rig here. I first tried the first hole with my hand drill, but this thing is pretty hard and it keeps twisting my wrist and if I push too hard, it would probably break my wrist. And it actually took me a long time to drill just one hole. So I'm gonna go with my trusty Hubble Freight bench drill press. I could have used my impact for this, but this bit is not a quarter inch hex, so it does not fit my impact driver. And with this rig, I can drill 10 times faster than my hand drill. It's perfect. I've got my holes drilled. Beautiful. Now I'm going to use my epoxy glue and glue the magnets into the holes, like so. For these magnets, the magnetic properties are not equal on both sides. You see on this side it has a bevel edge on the inner circle, whereas the other side is flat. And the side that has the bevel edge stick to my tools better than the flat side. And what that means is when I put the magnets on the wooden board here, I'm going to have to face the side that has the, the bevel edge on the same side. So all the magnets are facing the same side. Some of these holes that I cut are a little bit too big for the magnet. You can see that there's quite a little bit of gap. Therefore, I'm going to have to use something to thicken the glue to bridge the gap between the magnet and the uh, wood piece. And I'm using sawdust straight from the cutting of these holes and mix with the glue 
and that makes the glue a little bit thicker so it doesn't run because this glue is thin and it runs a lot here's the holes I put the glue with sawdust on and you can see it protrudes out quite a bit in fact a bit too much but now my magnet doesn't fit anymore so I'm gonna have to file it off a little bit alright I have just finished gluing all the magnets to my piece of wood and it looks beautiful and this should be done I can just leave it like this and uh, use it to hang my tools on but the thing is these magnets they are very brittle and they, you can easily break them like this one here and if I slam my tools on the magnet too hard I can easily break the magnet so to protect the magnets I have this aluminum sheet here and uh, I'm gonna wrap it around of the unit on the outside to protect the magnet and also underneath I'm gonna cut a piece of foam and put it on the magnet before I put my aluminum sheets on like so this aluminum sheet here is very thin, I would say about one third of a millimeter. And if you don't have uh, aluminum sheets like this, uh, you can use uh, plastic. But uh, you have to make sure that it's thin enough because the thicker it is, the more it's going to interfere with the strength of the magnet. I use double sided tape and secure this piece of foam on the magnet. Just like that. The protective foam pieces are on. Next step is to put on my aluminum sheet and I'm also going to use double sided tape to stick it on my piece of wood like this. Alright, so here it is. I wrapped the aluminum sheet all the way around the unit and now it looks like a solid piece of aluminum except when you look from the side let's put this to the test i've got a piece of metal here painted white this actually came from a washing machine and i'm just gonna stick it on and i can have my tools on what i want to know is how much weight it can support before it starts to sag and slide down like that it seems to hold on very tight. I've got my scale here and I'm going to use the scale to push down from the top here and that is going to show you how much force I use to push it down before this starts to slide down. 10 pounds, 14, about 15 pounds. And that means I can even hang my drills on. This one weighs about eight and a half pounds. Just like that. And of course I'm cheating a little bit here because it's not being held by the magnet but actually held by that belt clip right there resting on the top of the unit. But the thing is the unit itself is being secured to the piece of metal on the back here by nothing but magnets. So I can officially say that the drills are supported by nothing but magnet. Let's go ahead and try other tools. See how much I can put on this. Let's try on some the bigger and heavier tools pipe branch four pound wedge four pound sledgehammer it's holding we still have enough room for a shovel just like that Let's try other stuff. Cup full of water. Oh, spill water a little bit out. It's holding. iPhone. 
about hi Pat it's holding laptop computer last but not least water bottle full water Wow <laughs> You probably realize by now something going on here, and in fact there is. The laptop, maybe, well it does take a little bit, but not like this. Not, It's not able to hang on. I have to use double-sided tape. And also the phone. My phone is heavy, it got a lot of stuff in it, but uh, a little bit of double-sided tape. Also the iPad, double sided tape, the water bottle, same thing, double sided tape. These are just for gags and giggles. Everything else is legit, including the water bottle. So basically anything that is fair as metal, it should stick on this. So basically this doesn't cost me anything at all except the aluminum sheet, but you can basically use plastic or even cardboard paper to make a protective layer on the outside check this out I've got all the wrenches attached to my glass door and if I roll it up go ahead and roll it up it will stay on my ceiling and I can save quite a bit of space Another way I can use this magnet is to make a screw holder like this. So this is the cover for the magnetron. So I just stick it on like this and I can make a holder for screws and small parts and they don't fall out. I can also use a bigger bowl and just throw it in there and they don't fall out. Pretty cool, isn't it? And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.